fanboys and girls get ready for a Comic-Con size treat on Popstar this week. Actors who have taken on multiple iconic comic roles and superheroes with multiple blockbuster films, the most memorable supervillains our heroes have faced, and the most stylish supers on the big screen. Popstar this week starts now. Fanboys and fangirls, you are in for a treat. Welcome to the Comic-Con episode of Popstar This Week, where you'll get the latest on what's hot and what's not. I'm Elizabeth Stanton, and with me is my super panel, hey. Jabrizi. Hey. What's up, guys? How you doing? Hey. Hey. Devin Werkheiser. Hey. Super hey. Devin. Noah Matthews. Yeah. Super Noah. Jared and Pierce. OK, Sharon. Yes. Super Sharon. 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 And Neil. Oh. What Neil? Oh. Oh. Are you all set to take on some superheroes today? Yes! yes! Of course. Badges are sold out within hours, costumes prepared months in advance. We're talking about the biggest pop culture gathering on the planet, the convention circuit, and thanks to the awesome superhero movies, the fan base just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. Comic-Con uh, is uh, growing. Uh, Comic-Con is easy. awesome. I got booked to do a booking there, and like when I, I seen like all types of people, like Spider-Mans are coming up to me like, yo, I've seen the magic. Freaking awesome. I'm like, <laughs> this is weird, but it's so great that Spider-Man watches my videos. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's, like, it's amazing, right? They kind of <laughs> give me anxiety conventions, not gonna lie. Like, so it's many just, people. so many people yeah. in that, like, hotel I mean, it's crazy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. With what Marvel's been building with the movies, like, comics used to just be for comic nerds. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah. a very select group of people. Right, right. Now it's everybody. We're all freaking out about I love the gaming heroes. tournaments that go down there. I'm, like, a big gaming fan. Mm -hmm. So, like, when it, when it comes to a fighting game, right, yeah. especially those Marvel versus Capcom games, yeah. Dude, I'm all down. in. Hollywood actors are getting lots of love playing our favorite superheroes on screen, and some of them more than once. Like Aaron Taylor Johnson, who started out as the quirky vigilante, kick ass, and ended up playing Quicksilver in the Avengers Age of Ultron. Is there news of a third? I, I'm sure he'll end up playing yeah. more superheroes in yeah. his life. <laughs> kick ass was the coolest he was, man. Oh, that was movie that. was so oh, good. He wound up marrying the director from that movie. Yeah. Oh, wow. Crazy. Um, no, that movie was so cool. That was like an alternative superhero movie. Yeah. yeah. That Glenn was like really film was like her cool. breakout role. It's, she was, she was amazing in that. So I was good. like, who is this kid? Yeah, and yeah. this weird like father-daughter relationship where she's uh -huh. just getting shot in the chest with like, yeah. like yeah. Well, a big daddy, yeah. man. Yeah. Wow. I love that movie. But yeah, Aaron Taylor Johnson, he's jacked. He's going to play superheroes for the rest of his life. Totally. Ben Affleck started out as the daredevil and well, let's just say it didn't produce a sequel. <laughs> but now he's killing it as Batman in the DC <laughs> movie. Before I, we talk about Ben Affleck, okay. Daredevil on Netflix. Thank God they <laughs> okay. made it. Because really okay. that brought Daredevil back to coolness. Because yeah. that movie is so I'm bad. I'm one of the rare birds that likes the Daredevil movie. No, you did. <laughs> I did. I, 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 have I'm you not watched it again since you've been in the No, movie? I haven't. I haven't. And I, don't, I think it's for the best that I don't. Hop in as an adult. Because <laughs> as a teenager, it's one thing. Oh, I'll be honest. Like, I liked it because I was like, OK, me, I'm just I'm fascinated by the 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 fact he has no eyes. Right. Like when I, that first he scene came in, he's blind. blind. Yeah. Before, I was like, oh man, what is he? Oh, he's blind. Yeah. Oh, I got, oh, I didn't know what the Daredevil was, but yeah. I mean, Ben Affleck is doing an amazing job. And his Batman, uh, um, no. it's gotten much better. I, I I'm really miss on Batman. I'm really not about him being Batman. Yeah. But why is I think he, he's a terrible I get Batman. that he's muscular, but Ben Affleck doesn't look good that muscular. He look like <laughs> he's Batman's fat. He's a strong like, <laughs> jaw. I, I don't know. He for me he's missing the Bruce Wayne swagger. So yeah. like Batman is who Bruce Wayne really is. I think he's like a you know, a angry, he's a serious dude, but Bruce yeah. Wayne is his mask, and that's when he's like swaggery, has all socialite. the money, he's a socialite, yeah. he puts on that mask. Ben Affleck's so Bruce Wayne is just this angry <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> Just like pissed at Superman, crying about everything. Hey, look, when he was beating down Superman, that was the most baller scene I've ever seen in my entire life. He beat him up with a, with a purpose. <laughs> no! Like, <laughs> that movie is so upsetting. He's beating him down, and then he's like, wait, your mom's name is my mom's <laughs> name? I guess our whole plot can change. The color yellow comes in. He has some And the color yellow comes in. They're like, kill it! <laughs> and then. Halle Berry was definitely capital H-O-T as Catwoman. I mean, leather and whips, meow. But, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Liz>. but, <laughs> yes. her role as the original Storm in the X-Men franchise, 
that cemented her place in the superhero universe. I loved her as Storm. She was she really so badass. She was so good. And I was like kind of sad when they replaced her in Apocalypse. With a yeah. Different and I get a different storyline, yeah. whatever. Right. Halle Berry was so good. Storm is one of the most badass superheroes that's been Look, written. I, She's like the goddess of weather. I yeah. have the biggest crush on Storm, I kid you not, and Halle Berry. Right. So when she started playing Storm, <laughs> I'm not, I wanted to dye my hair white. So my hair right now is dyed. I actually wanted to dye it white and wow. put yellow contacts in and be Storm. Yeah, right. I feel you would look amazing. Would be, would be really yeah. Can we do Honestly? that? Can we set that up? Yeah, we can actually. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, we CGI it. Can you fix that? No, we don't have the budget for that. <laughs> and have you noticed how much the camera loves Chris Evans? He was already a scene-stealing hottie as the Human Torch in 2005's Fantastic Four. Now that he's Captain America, it's like my eyes are glued to the screen. Him as so the Human cool. Torch was like, to me, the coolest thing ever. I was like, this guy is the coolest person ever walked the earth. He's turning into a giant flame. He's riding <laughs> motorcycles. Yeah. He's just great. I. Oh, I was I was doing the the, the, oh, the, 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 the power, yeah, like how you had the flame here. Okay, sorry. You gotta be careful. I had to do it. And then and then Chris Evans, it's kind of like this weird, actually, because like, he's all like proper and kind of preppy. And you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he's Buck Rogers. He's, yeah, he's an old man. But he's, he's, he's playing yeah. an old. Man. But he's great. Yeah. 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 I have. I guess I haven't thought about how many actors have played two superheroes. Yeah, yeah it doesn't happen a lot. Yeah, just messing me up as a fan. I can't. It's like, what are my reality? You know. But actors aren't the only ones rebooting their careers playing superheroes. Superhero stories have undergone some pretty major remakes and reboots too. Let's see how well you know your superheroes on screen history when we return. Yes! Up next, these superheroes have had quite a few films dedicated to their larger than life stories. And later, these supervillains have given our heroes a run for their money. Subscribe to the digital edition of Popstar Magazine for free! Check out popstaronline.com for all the latest celebrity news, what's hot and what's not in fashion trends, and exclusive interviews with your favorite stars. popstaronline.com <laughs> And we're back! The Marvel and DC universes have been breaking records at the box office. But before they became these big movies, their story started out from the pages of a comic book. In fact, some of our favorite superheroes might be older than our grandparents. Ooh. What? Yeah. Since they've been around for so long, some stories have been adapted to film and TV several times. We're talking remakes and reboots of some of the most successful superhero franchises. Like Spider-Man, he's been played by Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and most recently, Tom Holland. Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man. Yeah, Andrew Garfield's I, the best Spider-Man. No! Spider-Man 3 was a big fall off for me, I'm gonna be honest. Oh yeah, they were Spider-Man 3? Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3, Spider 3, Spider 3 is when, yeah, that was... Emo Spider-Man? Yeah, 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 I remember that. Random scene yeah. yeah. where he looked like he Dancing didn't like his role. Dancing on chairs and he had this little emo flip. They were emo forced flip. to make that one. They that was a bad movie. movie. I really yeah. like the new Spider-Man. Tom Holland is good. Too. Really? Tom Holland, really I think, is a great actor. I did yeah. like the standalone Spider-Man, but I really liked Tom Holland yeah. in yeah. Avengers. Yeah, I liked him in the Avengers. And everything like yes. that. Yes, and Iron Man. Uh -huh. So I, I, I'm excited to see him take on for like the, the sequel to Spider-Man, and then maybe he can win back that see, spot but, over to But this Empire. remake or reboot did come, everyone's surprised, because it came way too early. Too early. Okay. Garfield's too early, ended yeah. like, Two years ago. Yeah. yeah. And there's but already they a it was just really bad for the Avengers. They we just him. keep having to relive that whole Uncle Ben thing. <laughs> I know. It's, it's just Uncle Ben. It's, it's not dramatic the first time. <laughs> yeah. 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 No easy feat to take up the mantle of Gotham's hate for Seder. Do you remember the campy Batman series in the 60s? Yes. 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 <laughs> Which incarnation was the most memorable for you? Christopher I, Nolan. I mean, Christopher yeah. Nolan's. I Batman That's trilogy true. changed yeah, that was amazing. the superhero world. Although Jack Nicholson as the Joker it was fantastic in the 90s, but yeah, yes. like yeah. Ra's al Ghul is an amazing, amazing. villain. Yes, Heath Ledger Joker, amazing. I mean, Bane, Tom Hardy, just incredible. Everyone was yeah. amazing, and yeah. Heath Ledger's Joker, I mean, is one of the best That's villains we've ever seen. Performance ever. Ever. period. Yes, from Christopher Reeve to Brandon Routh. And now Henry Cavill, the Superman franchise just keeps getting more and more super. Do you agree? I like Which do you think is the most iconic? I like Henry Cavill as Superman. The most iconic is the Christopher Reeve, but yeah. they just keep getting more manly and handsome and muscular, which I'm not mad about. Superman. 
in yeah. general. The idea of Superman. The idea yeah, of this even, perfect being. Yeah, it's just like kind of corny now. I mean, it's just mm. like, yeah, he can't, he has no flaws. Right. Yeah. Literally no flaws. I know, there's like that age old debate of like Batman, not versus Superman right. as in when they fight, but like they represent different yeah. things in the superhero universe. Yeah, Superman and I think this like, perfect being, and right. Batman is the flawed human. Flawed. It's, yeah. it's a hard role to play. Yeah. Superman is infallible. Like, how yeah. do you oh, do I'm that? Oh, I'm going to be perfect. I'm going to be like, a perfect. <laughs> and he's an alien. He's yeah. Yeah. Right, right. I'm a perfect alien. <laughs> I don't know why he got an accent there. That's Russian Superman. Uh, it's not Superman. <laughs> <laughs> our, ne our next superhero would spark some debate whether he really is a superhero or not, but there's no doubt that the Punisher kicks some major bad guy butt. And Hollywood's been remaking the Punisher since the 80s. Punisher is like the Dexter of the, like, the, the Marvel world. world. Yeah, it's just yeah, crazy. Yeah, because he's, he's not like a super, he's, he's like he's a, a vigilante. He's a super murderer. Yeah. yeah. Did you he's watch a, the new Netflix series? Amazing. John Bernal is one of my favorite oh. actors. Oh. He's like, so good. He's just amazing. And he's just so disturbed in this He movie. was like, perfect to play. He's the only one to play this reboot. The only one. Yeah. The 2005 the release man. of Fantastic Four was really popular. But did you know that it was already a reboot of an unreleased 1994 movie? Mm, and what? what's your take on the 2015 movie? Oh, can it be a reboot if it's a movie that was unreleased? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. A reboot for who's going to come out? Yeah. I did not know they tried to make it in 1994, and that's that must hilarious. have been terrible. I want to see that. Right? Yeah. I want to see what the torch looks like. Fantas yeah, exactly. exactly. It's not like just and a dude they lit on fire in the suit. Fantastic like. Four <laughs> requires. What'd be funny CGI. is like he requires guy. He just like he goes that way. They just cut the frame. They just yeah. Keep <laughs> <going. laughs> <Bring his arm. laughs> <Slightly lower. laughs> you know the thing must be ridiculous in that. Oh, one. Uh, uh, hilarious have to be some stop motion suit. movie or some claymation movie. <laughs> like. Oh. Of course, we root for our favorite superheroes to win, but this next group of people makes a superhero's life very interesting and keep us on the edge of our seats. Best movie villains yeah, are up next. Villains, 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 villains. Up next, the most memorable villains are here. And later, who's your top superhero when it comes to style? You've read the magazine, now plug into the music you love and the news you can't live without on Popstar Radio. Listen worldwide, wherever you go. Download the app or go to popstaronline.com. <laughs> and we're back. A hero is only as good as his villain, and every incredible superhero story has him or her facing off with a really badass supervillain. And we're talking the most memorable bad guys our heroes have faced. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I love that the new, I mean, it's the direction it's been going in where villains now are becoming more and more relatable. Or at yeah. least yeah. Yeah. more depth. More depth. Are. I'm totally. Becoming Do you more. That's just as we grow up that we're starting to <laughs> notice that. No. Yeah, no. Movies, no more. movies no in more. general used to make them yeah. like. This is the bad guy, and yeah. you will I hate think, him. Yeah, I think that's just good storytelling yes. and good writing will, will make you know a villain relatable. Michelle Pfeiffer pulled off what is probably the most iconic beloved performance, both as Selena Kyle and Catwoman in Batman Returns. Remember that scene where she put a live bird in her mouth? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This is the Tim Burton Batman. Yeah. Which yeah. Is, still holds up actually. It's a really. Good it's one. so interesting. How many takes do you think they had to do? Anywhere right? she's popping a bird yeah. in her I mean, mouth. But they Look, the bird was a total professional. Could have done 12 more takes, but. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this I was a Hollywood bird, yeah. guys. So, After all. I don't find an impression of God David Blaine. Wasn't a bird in her mouth? Yeah. yeah. He placed a live, live bird. bird. It wasn't like a no. cut. No, 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 no. she bird, let no. a bird out I'll of take. her mouth. I don't find it impressive. We got David Blaine coughing up frogs now. Ask the magic guy <laughs> like, over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Yeah, I'm he's like, a bird in her mouth? Have you seen my rabbit? Was there three? <laughs> the Wicked Soldier didn't always side with the Avengers. Between hardcore fights and major friendship drama, Sebastian Stan helped make Captain America, The Winter Soldier, arguably the best Captain America movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Really dope. And now he's he's like part of the good the good crew. No, he's gonna be part of the Black Panther squad now. Yeah. They're like yeah, hinting to the fact that yeah. he's gonna be this character White Wolf who's gonna be a spy for Wakanda. That's super Woo! cool. And don't get me started on our favorite frenemy, Loki. 
One minute you hated him, the next minute he's got you rooting for him. Tom Hiddleston did such an amazing job, you can't help but have trust issues when it comes to dealing with Loki. Yeah, he's yeah. great. Yeah, he's he, no, he's, he's so good. And then in uh, Ragnarok, when you thought he died, just for a moment, it was, it, was, it kind it of hurt. hurt, yeah. yeah and, well, he like almost dies in, in all the movies, in the second Thor. Yeah, yeah but he, he died. actually died in right. Ragnarok, but then didn't. Right. He's yeah. just on the brink of death. <laughs> Always. In all moments. You can't kill him. And guy. he's on, you never know, I, I love Loki. I mean, he's the god of mischief, so you right. just never know what his true intentions are. But I think everyone would agree that the most unforgettable villain is Heath Ledger's Joker. Oh. Yeah. 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 He's described his portrayal as the Batman nemesis, as menacing and diabolic. Do you agree? One of the best just performances Just take it out of superhero. Film. Yes, yeah, just like, put it in uh, any film. In film. Yeah. It's, he brought so much depth so to a crazy though. character. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You even understand his, you, yeah. he made you understand his perspective. He gave us so many different variations of how he got those scars. I don't know how he got I know, yeah. it was always a, <laughs> a, a joke a lot. And that's the thing is, I don't know how I it's know. not like he's just this stereotypical like bad guy right. in a movie. There's so many layers. He's just a full character. It's a man. <laughs> and the like, work yeah. that Heath Ledger put into that character mm -hmm. It was so intense. That's a, you see that on screen. That's a testament to who he was as an actor. Like, right. yeah. not every actor would right. know how to rip open that many layers, and this dude did and stole the entire movie. Well, these villains oh. certainly made our heroes look good when they triumphed in the face of adversity. But you know what else makes our superheroes look good? Super suits. Get the 411 on the most stylish superheroes on screen after this. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Coming up next, the big screen's most stylish superhero. Looking for the latest in celebrity news, summer, fashion trends, and the hottest events in town? Be sure to get your copy of Popstar Magazine out now. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Dude, kill <Kilmer. laughs> And we're back. Every superhero's got his or her own style. Their eye-catching super suits aim to mix a functional yet stylish aesthetic. Who says heroes can't look good while saving the world, right? Yeah. You gotta look good. You gotta. I mean, wait, I mean, a superhero in khakis? Yeah. I do it all the time. <laughs> what about Anne Hathaway's Catwoman cat suit and knee-high boots in The Dark Knight Rises? She got to be the sexiest cat burglar around. That's, that's always a fashion statement to me, you know. Look, I, on my end, believe there should be more female heroes that dress like that. <laughs> like cats? Like no, cats. In that type of latex. I mean, I uh, think I would no. just like to see more female heroes altogether, regardless <laughs> of the look. They're coming, I mean, guys. That's just me. Captain Marvel's coming to save the world. Brie Larson, get ready. T'Challa sported some sleek vibranium threads that Chadwick Boseman looking so fine as the Black Panther. This yeah. movie had the most stylish. There's oh, no yeah. conversation. The this guards, movie had the most the stylish guards, costumes. The, the, the gold plating. I loved and, like, it. They infused all sorts of African like yeah, costume tribal, yeah. decor. Yeah, tribal decor. You know what's crazy when they were making the movie, right? They even had it like scripted to where people would be lined up uh, in a representation of the African flag. So like one person was wearing red, the child was wearing black, and then the sister was wearing green. Oh, that's cool. And it was like he was like, I wanted to represent the African flag, and then like you know she's wearing a wig. Like every the fashion was a meaningful thing itself yeah. throughout the whole movie. Totally, I was like, everyone what? looked top notch, and yeah, I mean it looked like traditional and modern at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Christian Bale's Batman <laughs> costume did away with the rubber material of its predecessors. The Dark Knight's version of the Batman suit was more like a functional armor, but it looked so good. What'd you guys think? They actually thought this, that's what Chris Nolan, he, he changed the game. Like he actually like, okay, let's think this through. Why would he have all this all right. and what would it look yeah. like? Remember the infamous George Clooney nipple oh Batman my suit? God. Oh no. The, the yeah. designer of that suit they, he put gave his, bat, his Batman, his man armor. Robin had it too. Nipples. Well, Robin yeah, so had wait, it too. Was it like, did, did, like, did the nipples do anything? No, no. They, they were just aesthetic. little nipple, uh, just for aesthetics only. Yeah. Oh, aesthetic. <laughs> but Batman also used to have the headpiece that connected to the shoulders, so he had to turn like this. <laughs> yeah. Really not functional. Adam oh. right. So like you telling me, like you telling me his neck could move. Yeah, yeah, that's that, a superhero. That game. was the old suits. They that was the Adam West one, I think, right? It was or George Clooney George one. Clooney. It was even oh. Michael Keaton. Even the Tim Burton really? one was sort of like uh, it was a mechanical. Little stiff. Yeah. 
Oh. And there's something about Iron Man's suit, that shiny red and gold suit was both classic and bold. I mean, who didn't get goosebumps when we first saw it in action in 2008's Iron Man? And did you hear someone stole it? That's who good. stole it? I heard it's value, it's $325,000. All right, Wait, quick question. Someone stole it? We gotta ask the question, what makes this suit? Three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Is it? Is it the Made nostalgia, or tech. is it what they did? Can you really shoot missiles? <laughs> can definitely can't shoot missiles. I think it definitely. But no, I remember like one of my favorite scenes is when he's actually painting it himself. He's mixing the color. Yeah. And then wow. He yeah. The whole thing. That's so cool. Where he's like, yeah, it's pop a little red. In That's been fun through all the Iron Man movies or any movie yeah. he's in. Is all the naked. different suits. Yeah, he yeah. has so many different yeah. variations on it. It's uh, so fun. It was like, like the basic suit. gray. Wasn't yeah, it? the yeah. big one yeah. that the Hulk that like fought the Hulk. Yeah. I always liked how heavy they made the suits yeah. feel yeah. and look like yeah. they. Yeah. They didn't. It looked like something super heavy. <laughs> no, I bet it was Robert Downey Jr. who stole the suit. He just like walked into the costume warehouse and was like, guys. guys. He had memories, you know. <laughs> Superheroes have definitely become a major part of pop culture, and I don't think they'll be going anywhere anytime soon. I, for one, am definitely excited to see more movies on the big screen. How about you guys? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't sure at first. I mean, superheroes sort of like slowly started to take over the blockbuster movie world, and like yeah. some of them were good and some of them were bad. Now I'm like fully. I feel like I Iron Man was home. the one that kind of yeah, got broke the me yeah, on board, and I was just like, this is a great film. Like, yeah. I'll be honest. I wasn't into the Avengers. I, as a kid, I was into Spider-Man and all that, but I, I really jumped the board on Black Panther. Uh, like literally, like just very recently. Yeah. I was like, Yo, this is dope. A black movie. superhero. Yeah. No, just a yeah. black superhero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we could literally spend years talking about our favorite characters, but unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. See you next time on Popstar This Week with more of what's hot and what's not. And major love to this league of extraordinary panel right here. Devin Werkheiser. Yo, I am the Superman. Jared and Pierce. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Huzzah. DeBreezy. DeBreezy. Black superhero, Joe Matthews. Yeah, Noah. Hey. Neil Gosh. Woo! Oh, Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, watch, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out.